Good morning everybody and welcome into the global Hoenn Tour event day two and the event hasn't started until it's three minutes until it starts but I've been out here trying to hatch some eggs and we are starting off the video with, with a 10 kilometer egg check let's see if we could start this video off with the shiny nope. regional and it's a relicant but not shiny but man imagine the cliff that would have been shiny it's day two of the event we're at the same park we were at yesterday no idea what really the goal is today I guess it's more primal raids try to get that shiny Kyogre hatch more 10 kilometer eggs and try to get more shiny because there's no research to do so it's just shiny hunting all day today man one shiny that I would love to get right now is a shiny Feebas that is a really rare shiny that I would absolutely love to try and have honestly still shiny hunt Kyogre relic hunt. okay the event literally hasn't started it is 958 two minutes left and I get a tiny shiny swear what it's gonna be a fantastic day it is a full odds tiny shiny swin up what a way to start the video and I'm so glad I caught it because in a minute it was gonna change Oh, that would have been good to try and, like, let it wait to see what it would have changed into. But I'm not going to let a shiny swing up. Oh, that's... If it was reversed, it'd be good for PvP. What a way to start out the video, though. Welcome to the Hoenn Global Event Day 2, everybody. It's going to be a fantastic day. And as you guys can tell, the event has officially started. Can we get a shiny in the first batch of Pokemon? No. 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 Oh, okay. Catnia, shiny check? Nah. Imagine. No shinies in the first batch. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna be looking for some primal raids. And back again to ruin my day is Latios, who's not gonna be shiny. It's gonna run away after the first ball. Just watch. Quote me on it. Okay, we got a nice throw on it. Not bad, but it's still gonna run away. We're not gonna catch it. See? Broke out. Bye -bye. And it's gone. It's gonna run away after the first ball. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today's already starting out way better than it did yesterday. We got a shiny mining, which honestly, I'm not too stoked about this. The only real good thing it has to it is that it's a really rare shiny. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with the shiny mining. But we managed to catch the brand, well, brand new to me, shiny mining. IVs suck, but it's not a useful Pokemon, so I'm okay with this. Great start to the day. Two shinies were looking good. And immediately following that shiny mining, we have two field research checks first one's gonna be a Sableye not gonna be a shiny and the next check is gonna be a another Sableye not shiny that's another shiny I really want today but all it all depends on the field research honestly and once again we got another 10 kilometer regional egg hatch give me the shiny relicant please another Torkoal which we did get a shiny Torkoal yesterday so if you haven't watched that video go back and watch it amazing video got some really good shinies didn't get a lot but got some amazing shinies if you haven't watched it IVs on it are gonna be garbage and today just keeps getting better and better we got a shiny nose pass on the incense this is actually a really good looking shiny I love the gold shinies I don't know about everyone else but I personally love the gold shinies gold shinies and blue shinies those are like my favorite and we caught it and the IVs are gonna be if it was good for PvP that would be like a perfect PvP Pokemon right there also one of the rarest shiny hunts that we are looking for today because I didn't mention it earlier is actually Kecleon which we do have a Kecleon check right over here just gonna knock him off the pokey stop real quick all right and there he is shiny Nope. Oh, imagine the clip, bro. That's a shiny I want so bad. We're gonna be we're gonna be hunting that Kecleon as much as we possibly can. If we see a Pokestop with him on it, we are literally bolting. And once again, we got two more field research shiny checks. First one's gonna be a nope. Duskull, not gonna be a shiny man. Trying to get more field research shinies, guys. I would love another shiny Shedinja because those have good trade value. I don't know how good their trade value is gonna be after this event, but I got two of them, so I can trade one. Second one. What did I say? I'm gonna get three shinies in the first hour. Four shinies, because if you count the swine up, that's four shinies in the first hour. We nearly already have as many shinies as we did yesterday. I'm gonna get a shiny Kyogre today. With this amount of luck, it's gonna be a good day. It's already a good day. This is a win of a day. Even better than yesterday, too. IVs on the dust school are gonna be pretty solid, not gonna lie. But came from field research, so of course it's gonna be kind of solid. We actually have two more field research checks. First one's gonna be... A shiny shop it. What is going on today? Did Niantic flip the shiny switch or something? But oh my god! 414 CP. No idea if that's any good, but it's a shiny shop it none. The less from field research that is five shinies on the day already we got six over the entire event yesterday we have five in the first hour oh my lord and we're about to have six I feel like the rest of the event's gonna be terrible after this hour because I feel like I'm using all my shiny luck right now but what a start to the video hey guys
after about an hour and a half, we took down our very first primal Kyogre, which we still need the Kyogre because we don't have the shiny, but we're about to get it right now. Shut Dang it, man. 2307, not gonna be good. Hopefully we can get another one here soon. And one of the shinies that I've always wanted for like the last year and a half, shiny Saviper. We finally got it, 1210 CP. This was one every single time I see a Saviper would always check to see if it was shiny. Never missing a beat on the Savipers, man. That is such a good looking shiny. Now I just need the Zangoose and I complete that shiny duo. And I finally got my third shiny unknown ever. This is unknown E. It's not the brand new one, but hey, it's a shiny unknown. Absolutely just the shiny luck today, man. It has been absolutely insane. We've only been playing for a little over an hour and a half. It's 1147 now, and we already passed our shiny count from yesterday. We are at seven shinies on the day. You know, I mentioned yesterday that I am really good at getting costume Pikachu during events like this, because last year, I got one for the Global Go Fest event. I got both of them, and now we got the shiny Pikachu with the bow. Would you look at that? I probably should have Ultra Balled and Golden Raz that, but hopefully it doesn't run away. And would you look at that? And right as we catch this, we got three more field research checks right now. Not gonna be good, it doesn't matter. Field research check number one, it's gonna be another Sableye, not shiny. Man, I would love a shiny Sableye. Man, not gonna be a shiny. But the third research check is gonna be a Surskit, not shiny. Oh well, we got the shiny Pikachu, W. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got another Primal Kyogre raid going. I did one just a little bit ago, but didn't record it, but it wasn't shiny, wasn't any good. I actually didn't even catch it. Nothing really special with that one, but Primal Kyogre goes down. Still trying to get that shiny. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna get the shiny right here, right now. 10,000 XP, 80 energy, 10 balls, only one shiny. 23, 23, not gonna be too bad, but not the shiny, not what we're looking for. Time to do more Kyogre raids, I guess. And once again, we're in another Primal Kyogre raid, and we have a Primal Groudon raid that we're doing immediately after this, because they're right next to each other. And I got something to show you guys as soon as we're done with this raid, because I didn't get it on camera because I'm traveling with the group at the moment, and I don't like recording around people, because I'm kind of awkward about it. That's just me. But anyways, I got something to show you guys. And Primal Kyogre goes down 10,000 XP, summary, 80 energy. 10 balls, only need one shiny. Uh, we got a huge one though, 2280, of course it's a huge one and bad, come on. Oh well, and the Kyogre runs away. We didn't even manage to get the huge Kyogre, so that's a little upsetting. Let me show you guys this real quick. We managed to get our very second shiny Gulpin, which means we can evolve one and complete the shiny family. But first, we gotta do this Groudon raid. All right, I got another thing I gotta show you guys, but first, Kecleon check. Nope. Not gonna be a shiny, but I don't know why. Maybe it's because I chose the Gulpin path. Oh, we got another shiny Gulpin. That is three on the day. We're gonna be doing some trades later, and this Gulpin has some trade value now, because now I got the full family and I got an extra, so gonna be doing some nice trades later. I accidentally started hatching the eggs, but we have two 10 kilometer eggs. First one was a Torkoal. Second one is gonna be- Nope. A trophy is not gonna be shiny, but I did manage to get something. Let me show you guys. I managed to get my very first shiny clam pro. Look at that man. Such a good looking shiny man. It's been such a good day. Like I have literally no complaints granted. I would like to get a shiny Kyogre, like I said, but we have a Latios check. Not gonna be shiny, 1734. I did manage to actually catch a wild one, so that's kinda cool, of course, when I don't get it on camera. So that kinda sucks, but we still got one, so that's kinda cool. But we're actually about to do a Kyogre raid right now, so I'll catch you guys there. And doing yet another Primal Groudon raid. Of course, this one's probably not gonna be shiny per the usual, you guys know. But we have another one to do right after this, so we get two chances for a Primal Groudon, so hopefully we can actually get one. And summary, we get 90 energy, only eight balls, shiny. No, 22, 92, not gonna be good whatsoever. On to the next one. All right, and we are back at it with another Primal Kyogre raid. You guys already know we gotta get that shiny. For some reason, I cannot get a shiny legendary. Literally, dude I'm playing with, he literally got three shiny Kyogres yesterday, and I nope. can't get one. 2320, not shiny, not the hundo. I'm starting to lose hope. But it makes up for the fact that we've gotten a lot of shinies today, brand new shinies, super rare shinies, and some good looking shinies. We will be evolving that clam pearl at some point in the video because I need the male form. I totally forget the name of it. We gotta evolve that to finish our Pokedex. That is literally the last Pokemon that I need to complete my Pokedex for the Hoenn region. So that's definitely gonna happen. And we still gotta do those trades at some point in this video. Let's get back to hunting. And once again, we lost the Kyogre. So that is absolutely fantastic. But either way, 
we have three more field of research checks. We got this one right here. What's it gonna be? Yo. It's gonna be a Shedinja, not gonna be shiny. Imagine we got a third one. That would have been amazing. Either way, I believe that's what we're trading later. <laughs> Might trade it for a shiny Kyogre. Who knows? We shall see. And the next one we have is gonna be nope. a Duskull, not a shiny. We already got a shiny of that today, so that's nothing special. And the last one we have is... Nope gonna be a Trico, not shiny. That is such a, I want the shiny so bad. Sceptile shiny, it looks so good. It's like a teal color. I don't even know what the color you would say it is, but it's such a good looking shiny. I want it so bad, especially for Mega Sceptile. Such a good looking shiny, man. But so far, it is officially nearly 2.30 now. Let's see how many shinies we got. We have three, six, nine, ten. We have 11 shinies on the day. Have we gotten a secret hundo though? We have not gotten a hundo, which is a little surprising, but hey, can't really complain playing too much about that. Been a pretty good day so far. And we still got another three and a half hours to play too, so we're gonna keep at it. Yet again, another Primal Kyogre raid. You guys already know, because I'm starting to believe I'm never gonna get this shiny. Like, shinies used to be so good to me back with like Yveltal and Xerneas used to be so good. But over the last like few months, it's just been atrocious. You guys know that if you've watched my raid until it shines videos. 80 energy, 10 balls, only gonna need one shiny. And it sucks too because the people I'm playing with, they've gotten shinies and I can't. And they constantly make fun of me for it, so it's pain. At least I'm getting other shinies to make up for it, but come on, dude. I've done probably over 10 of each of these and no shiny. Sucks. And today has finally paid off even more. Our worst nemesis, Latios, is shiny. And now I'm, I have 365 Ultra Balls. 395, actually. Because I've seen so many people throw 200 plus Ultra Balls at these things and not catch them. So we're going to see what we can do. So a quick update now. Now I'm down to 363 Ultra Balls. I'm nearly down 40 balls. I came down here for a Kecleon check and I get a shiny Latios. And I'm probably gonna be here a hot minute. Like, honestly, I saw someone on Twitter took them over 200 Ultra Balls to try and get this thing. I, I'm, I'm gonna be stuck here a while. It's finally done. I did it. Before we check it, I wanna see how many Pokeballs, Ultra Balls I have left. Nearly cost us a hundred Ultra Balls. And I didn't even get to check the Kecleon, man. But shiny Latios wasn't even worth it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not worth it what the heck man either way that's still really good really cool it's a wild shiny legendary can't really be too upset about that but man that took a while that took me like 10 minutes to try and catch all right so we actually do get our kecleon check because he actually just moved pokestops it seems shiny dang it honestly would have preferred the shiny kecleon over the shiny latios wouldn't have cost me 100 ultra balls What's up everybody? Sorry about the sudden cut in the video. That was actually the last recording I actually took during the actual event itself. I was just out with so many people and just enjoying myself a little bit there so I didn't even get to record an outro for you guys or give a summary. I didn't leave the park until like 6.30 and by the time I left it was literally pitch black outside so I apologize for that. But right now we're actually going to go over the summary real quick show you guys what all I got because I did get some stuff there at the end. And also I didn't end up doing any of the trades because the people I was gonna trade with that I was playing with either a literally just got their friend code so it was gonna cost a million stardust to trade a new shiny Pokemon that they didn't have and or they didn't have enough stardust for the actual trade itself so those trades will happen in the future just not in this video but also if you are watching this video and you are one of the people that I met over the weekend thank you guys so much for an amazing experience you guys were amazing I really appreciate hanging out with you guys and hope to see you guys at that park more often it was a pleasure to hang out with you guys and going over the shiny Pokemon because really that's all anybody really cares about. We got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23 total shinies over the entire weekend. Honestly, like I said in the first video, I would have been happy with three shinies. I got 23 shinies. Granted, I did literally get five Gulpin, so take that as you will, but amazing. I love my little Gulpin boy. And speaking of shiny Gulpin, we actually need to evolve one. We are going to be evolving Gulpin into shiny Swalla. It's already in the Pokedex, but this is still unshiny. I want the full shiny family. There we go. We have shiny Swalla. Yeah. 
Mm, such a good looking. I was always a fan of Gulpin's while out growing up. Really, really love it. But we also did get a shiny Plusle, so that means we do have the shiny Minum and shiny Plusle now. We got a second cast form. Really amazing weekend, honestly. I need to evolve this Clam Pearl to hopefully get this Huntail to finish my Pokedex. So here's the 50-50 for the Huntail. Please give us the shiny Huntail. No idea what it looks like. I just want to evolve this one to hopefully get us a shiny Pokedex entry. Please give me Huntail. Please. There we go, we got the hunt. It's green, not a big fan of the green shinies, but hey, Pokedex entry, we finished our Hoenn Pokedex, and look at that, it was with a shiny Pokemon as well. And there we go, we got our Platinum Hoenn Medal for completing the entire Hoenn Pokedex. And I'm gonna be honest, this event was so much better than I expected, it was absolutely amazing. I give this event a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Only thing that would have made it better is if we got more bonuses, like if we even, even if we only got like an egg bonus, it would have made it that much better thank you guys for watching if you did make it this far i really do appreciate it be sure to like comment subscribe all those good things and i will catch you guys in the next video peace